Yo, what is up? Gotta quickly jump in here to ask you to check out my brand new podcast, The 414 Show. This podcast is perfect for those of you wanting to get into AniTube yourself, or if you would like to discover more about your favorite creators. I sit down with my friends in the AniTube world to discuss things such as their beginnings, tips for those of you wanting to do this yourself, and of course, anime and manga and much, much more. You can find links to the podcast in the description below, whether you want to watch it here on YouTube or listen to it through platforms such as Spotify. And just a heads up that if you are a Patreon of mine, you will get early access to full uncut episodes. Oh yeah. So be sure to follow me on Twitter for any podcast updates, including what guests I'll have on the show next. Again, link in the description and I hope you enjoy this video. Yo, what is up there? In today's video, I've got five facts about Pandora from the series ReZero slash a character analysis video. So we will be going over Pandora's bio, personality, voice actors, and more. Quick warning that there will be spoilers, of course, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character facts videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Speaking of which, oi oi, why not head over onto my Patreon where I have some exclusive videos, monthly hangouts, and early access to these videos before anybody else. It's a great time to be had by all. Come and be part of it. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. Pandora is the Witch of Vainglory. Though she is not a part of the Witch's cult, she does have connection to them and, you know, has somewhat command over them. This combined with the fact that she has played a part in some pretty big events in the history of the series means that she may very well be one of the main antagonists in ReZero. Pandora made her debut in episode 43 of the anime and volume 14 of the light novel. Not a lot of information is known about her, but we do know that she is a female male human. Appearance wise, this girl has a look to her that is kind of cute, but at the same time frightening. Her voice soft yet commands fear. They say Pandora is a beauty, you know, a, a beauty that bends both mind and soul to her will. Many have seeked happiness in her presence, but it's a happiness they would most certainly die for. Her hair is long and of a platinum white color. She wears a blue ribbon on her right side. Her eyes are also a piercing dark blue color and has thick long white eyelashes like that of Ikidana. I got told off for pronouncing that wrong last time. Ikidana. <laughs> Attire-wise, Pandora simply wears a white cloth with, again, more blue ribbons tied or sewn into it. Personality-wise, Pandora has a very calm demeanor to her. She is described as being somewhat dignified and graceful, but this, this is far from what she is. This personality of hers is a terrifying cover-up. Pandora is a very scary person, someone who is very good at manipulating and bending the wills of others in order to gain what she wants. We saw this in her treatment of Betelgeuse, when she manipulated him so much that it drove him to insanity and despair, which of course led to him killing Fortuna, the woman he had fallen in love with. Yeah, Pandora is a person of extreme selfishness, a borderline sociopath who will do absolutely anything to get what she wants. And the scary thing is, is that she will get what she wants. We saw her telling Amelia that she would rip the entire Elia forest to smithereens if she was to refuse her demands of opening the seal. Now, despite this ill portrait of her, and you know, we're not swaying from this image, <laughs> heads up, Pandora never really shows true anger to anyone. And I think that's what makes her so terrifying, man. Like, like, she remains calm and definitely chooses her words well, letting her cold gaze initiate the threat. Pandora's Japanese voice actor is Kugi Mia Rai. She has voiced other characters such as Alphonse Elric in Full Metal Alchemist, Tiger Isaka from Toradora, Juzo Suzia in Tokyo Ghoul, Shana from Shokugan no Shana, and more many more. Now, at the time of the making of this video, they haven't yet announced her English VA. I'm sure it will be announced very, very soon. Um, so leave that information in the comments if it hasn't been announced yet. 
In terms of power, Pandora has the authority of vainglory. This power allows Pandora to rewrite a certain situation in her favor. Not only that, but she can do this as many times as she wants, which just makes this authority absolutely sane and, in, in my opinion, absolutely OP. With this, she has the ability to take on anyone or anything as she can negate attacks or instances that would cause her own death. We have seen her bury people in the ground. She can manipulate a person's memories, but it gets crazier, man. Much crazier. With this authority, Pandora has the power to erase a person's presence without leaving a single trace of it. I just, I just can't even, man. Not... Honestly. Interestingly, though, she can use this power on absolutely anyone that she so chooses, except for Kurohebi, the Black Serpent, one of the three great beasts. Okay, let's finish this video off with some trivia about our girl Pandora. So, she was named Pandora in reference to the 55 Pandora asteroid. This asteroid was found in September of 1958 by an American astronomer and Catholic priest named George Mary Searle. This asteroid is still traveling within the asteroid belt orbiting the sun, to this day. The name Pandora is also referenced to Greek mythology. Yes, Pandora unintentionally released evil into the world, but managed to close the box before hope was released. Pandora means all giving in Greek, which is a reference to how the gods gifted Pandora with blessings before she was sent to Earth, or it's a reference to how she gifted evil to the world, which, let's face it, is a much better fit for this character, right? It was mentioned by one of Betelgeuse's fingers that Pandora has command over the witch's cult. And when I say command, I mean supreme command, yeah. So most within the cult consider her a taboo and dare not to even mutter her name. Final bit of trivia, though not confirmed, it was heavily implied by Fortuna's words that Pandora was in fact the one responsible for the death of Amelia's parents. Whether this is true or not is yet to be seen, but based off of what we have witnessed thus far, it, it, it really wouldn't be a surprise. But thanks for watching this, my video, Five Facts About Pandora from the series ReZero. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see next. Huge shout out to Warwick and Animator22 for supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to head on over there yourself to check out the amazing rewards, including a super special, awesome, exclusive series for Patreons only, yes. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Links are in the description below. And subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Push!